Well, if you take an ambulance to the hospital, there's a good chance that it could cost you more than you expect. So Susan is here with some of the details from this new report on surprise ambulance bills. You, that's something you never think about, right? Well, when you need help, right. you call 911 and yeah. it doesn't matter who shows up. You just need to get to the hospital, right? But then a couple of weeks, couple of months later, it all happens. So according to this report, about 3 million insured patients go to the ER by ambulance every year, and half of them could end up with a surprise bill because the ambulance provider was not in their insurance network. Nationwide, the median surprise bill for ambulance service is $450. Here in Arizona, it's closer to 600 bucks. We wanna make sure that every community is served by ambulances. The problem is, some companies are charging way over their costs and they're price gouging patients at their most vulnerable times. At the beginning of this year, the No Surprises Act went into effect to help prevent surprise medical bills for out-of-network providers at in-network facilities and out-of-network air ambulance service providers. But the law notably left out ground ambulances. Patricia Kelmar, the Senior Director for Education Campaigns for Arizona Perg Education Fund, says ambulance service providers are the most common source of surprise medical bills. We know that the No Surprises Act is working well to prevent a lot of surprise medical bills, and that's really important for consumers, and it's important for health insurance uh, costs, because those bills then aren't, aren't being foisted on in our premiums, too. So now we just have to close this final loophole. The No Surprises Act does require a new committee to look into the issue of surprise bills for ambulance service. We've just learned that committee members have been chosen and they'll actually meet for the first time next month. I did reach out to a couple groups in the ambulance services industry, but didn't get any response or reaction to this new PERG report. So in the meantime, if you end up with a surprise bill you can't afford for ambulance services, PERG suggests trying to work with your provider and your insurance company. Ask for a discount for paying up front or maybe a low-cost payment plan, that's going to be a way better option than putting right. it on a credit card and getting stuck with super high interest yeah, rates. Yeah, no doubt about that.